This book is called Nibbles the Book Monster by Emma Yarlett. There's Nibbles. This is a story about a little monster called Nibbles. Nibbles likes to nibble soap, and Nibbles nibbles socks. Nibbles chomps on rubber ducks, and Nibbles munches clocks. Nibbles loves to nibble toes, and Nibbles nibbles hooks. But Nibbles' favorite thing of all to nibble on is books. Oh no, where's Nibbles? He's nibbled his way out of this book. Oh, gone. Can you see him? Hmm. Oh, I see his little footprints. Gone. Oh, here he is. Recipes for nibbles and other culinary delights. Uh-oh, nibbles has nibbled his way into someone else's story. Goldilocks and the Three Bears. Oh, there's Nibbles. First, Goldilocks tried the big bowl of porridge. Yuck, too salty. Then she tried the in-betweeny size bowl of porridge. Too sweet. Then Goldilocks tried the teeny tiny bowl of porridge and it was monster, burp. When the three bears came home, they were shocked. Someone's eaten my porridge. Someone smashed my chair. Someone's broken everything. It wasn't me, it was a monster. Uh-oh, he disappeared again. The three bears are in for quite a surprise when they return home and realize a curious little yellow-haired rascal has eaten their chairs and slept in their tasty porridge. We join the naughty little hairy critter on this classic fairy tale adventure. Poor Goldilocks. Naughty Nibbles has nibbled his way into another story. Quick, let's catch him. Little Red Riding Hood. Oh, there he is. Help, help, stop that nibbler. He just nibbled my granny's lunch basket and he nabbed my cloak. Deep in the dark, dark forest, Little Red found grandma's cottage. Little Red knocked on the door and went inside. Grandma looked very strange. I look strange, what about Little Red? She doesn't look right at all. Oh, Little Red, what cute fluffy paws you have. What a rumbly, grumbly tummy and what nibbly little teeth. All the better to nibble with. Ooh, that's not Little Red Riding Hood. After a terrible hullabaloo, Grandma was set free from the cupboard. Let me in, this story is meant to be about me. My hero, thank you, Nibbles. Oh, Nibbles, you've turned me into a chicken. I feel so fluffy. And the big bad wolf was never big or bad ever again. Oh, he nibbled him to a chicken. Little Red Riding Hood loves to visit her grandma's cottage in the deep dark forest. One day, she decides to take a picnic, but on the way she meets someone very, very hairy who wants to eat her picnic basket and red cloak up for lunch. But in the end, will the big bad wolf discover his fluffy side? Oh dear, Little Red is not happy. We've really got to catch Nibbles this time. He's making a right mess of things. Let's get him. Jack and the Beanstalk. Oh, he nibbled right there. Jack hid just in time the giant was home. Mr. Giant stomped through his giant door and sat on his giant chair, but something didn't feel quite right. He took a giant sniff and said, fee fi fo bum Here's little Jack, gasp, tee hee. What happened to his bottom? Oh. It looks like Nibbles bit him. Something just bit my booty and they're running away with my goose. Mr. Giant tried to catch the intruder and the golden goose, but they managed to escape. Come back here. Creep, I'm out of here. Fee, fi, fo, fum. I'll get you back for this, you little nibbly hooligan. When Jack climbs a giant beanstalk in his back garden, he finds a giant house a giant golden goose, and a gigantic grumpy giant. 
Will Jack set the poor goose free? And will he make it home for tea? Phew, that was a close shave. Hooray, the golden goose is free at last. And it looks like he's taking Nibbles back to his own story. Yay, the golden goose has dropped Nibbles back into his own book. Ouch. Thank you, golden goose. Now quick, let's close the crate before Nibbles escapes again. Phew, well done. Now you really mustn't take your eyes off Nibble. Not for one second. Stop! Can you hear something? What's that noise? Nibble, nibble, chew, gnaw. Nibbles! Oh no, not again! And he's gone. Thank you for watching Miss Beckwith's Read Aloud of Nibbles the Book Monster. If you have any suggestions that you would like me to read for a read aloud, comment below. Thanks for watching.